Hi, my name is Jacob Adams. I am the creator of evolutiontraining.net. I'm a fitness and leadership coach, and I help people just like you get more, get more leadership, get more skills, get more fitness, more energy, more joy. That's what I do, okay? Have you ever wondered if thinking big or thinking small matters? In other words, if you just want a McDonald's, the number one with cheese, um, you know, that's thinking small. Let's just say that's thinking small for the sake of this argument, right? But to think, well, you know what? I want a jet. I want uh, what they call it, what the G6, right? Um, you know, I want a, a Porsche. I want a big house. I want a big family. I want to impact the world. I want to be a leader, right? These are the things that a leader has to sometimes, on some elements, work with. I mean, Gandhi himself said, be the change you want to see in the world. And in other words, be the change you want to see in the world was he, and he basically was nonviolent. That was his thing. It was to not be violent. That was his big message to the world. And he succeeded. I mean, every, how often, I'm sure you've heard it before, be the change you want to see in the world. Uh, so what is it that you're seeing? Is it a small vision or is it a big, is it a big vision? I mean, have you ever wondered these things? I know I have. I mean, the thing is that I think back when I started working out, I just wanted to, you know, get the girl. A girl told me I had small calves. My dad was out of shape. I was always into athletics. I felt like crap uh, in, in my confidence. And so I started working out. I was like, I'm going to work out. I'm going to have a great body. See, I started already thinking like that. And then I went into saying I'm going to be a bodybuilder and I got into the bodybuilding stage and then I'm going to teach a yoga class and I taught 500 yoga classes. I'm going to be a cyclist and I taught thousands of cycling classes. I'm going to have my own business and I started evolution training department. Uh, I'm going to be good at network marketing and I've been in advocate. And so the bigger, so, and if you say, well, Jacob, what's, why haven't you been been even more influential or why haven't you even been having even more market share? I'd say I thought too small. I think this year I was like, you know what, I, with AdvoCare, I just want to make $80,000 a year. And now with the year's ending, I think, wow, I thought so little. I should have been shooting for $200,000, a million dollars a year. Like that should be where my mind is at, right? See what I'm saying? Like that should be really where my mind's at. I feel better even saying it. And the thing is that it, 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 it's like walking on a wire. It's like walking on a wire. It requires a level of trust and confidence and, and, and it's a little bit shaky and you may fall, right? But it's, it's so much better because now your mind starts expanding how to do that and it starts saying, how am I gonna do this? Where if you say, I want a number one with cheese, well, I mean, just go down the store. It's like, Bleh. well, there's not enough. You're not really igniting all your potential. So think about that. And now that I'm, going through all these years saying well, the years where I've thought big, I've gotten more out of myself. The years where I thought small, I kind of retracted and things started falling by the wayside. I started seeing energy. And now uh, that I'm really owning this concept of thinking big and, and being about it, like it's, it's everywhere. Like everywhere you look, people say, you know what? Don't think so small because it takes the same, same amount of work to build a big business than it does to build a small business. So think about that. It takes the same amount of energy to build a big business as it does a small business. So what are you going to do? I mean, people are going to be served more if you think big, right? So the power of thinking big not only serves you, it also serves more people. And that's such an important thing. And then I think we, if you look at some of these videos I've made about shame and guilt and, and stuff like that, we have to really like let that shit fall by the wayside because it's it's stopping us from our truest deepest self like the core of our of our light of our soul of what we really can contribute to the world so it's so important that you really connect with that part of you that thinks bigger and is is it's all about the the grandioseness of what you can deliver because if you i mean like you said you know okay so i want to make a million a year right that's not like I'm saying a billion yet. I'm not there saying those things. It's like, it's huge enough to kind of fuck, how am I gonna do it? Versus, you know, oh my God, I, I can't even believe it. Like, just like, it's like complete doubt. Like that one is just like, how? Like, whoa, you know, versus, no, oh, come on, stop, stop trying to even, you know, but it's not to say that being a billionaire is, is crazy as much as, it's not to invite you to think to a degree that it's like you're being a clown to yourself. Like you're, you, you, you yourself think it's so impossible that you don't even try at it all. It's saying, well, what are you really gonna do? 
How much of this do you really resonate with on your deepest core level, like to the core? And if you're watching this video this far, something tells me that you're someone that has a core, someone that understands what resonating means, something that under, someone that understands thinking big versus thinking small. So I invite you on the journey. Uh, keep that in mind that in the past we were taught to be humble or uh, to the degree that humility is good, but thinking small is not. There's a difference. So keep that in mind and know that now in this day and age, it's very important that we, we cultivate big vision to achieve great things. Okay. If not, we're going to find ourselves being drained, not achieving what we want. It's such an important thing. Um, it's very common to let other people that are going to be thinking average or, uh, you know, placate you, tell you, you can't do it, tell you what you're doing wrong. And the critics are going to come out. I have friends themselves that tell me, Jacob, your videos aren't that good or yada, yada, yada. And it's like, because they're too long and like, oh, look, this is five minutes. And like, it's like, this took like six minutes. I mean, I know basically, I know what I'm competing with. I'm competing with a hot girl on Instagram showing you her butt and her nice ass. Like, I know that I get, so, I mean, is it, is she's going to get her, like there's, there's this girl that she's on Instagram and she's like, join my Snapchat. It's a naughty Snapchat for $40 a, a month. And she's a very attractive woman. I'll, I'll give her that. She's very sexy, very voluptuous. And I think to myself, wow, I don't, you know, you know, and I haven't joined, but the thing is this, the reason I haven't is because look, is that really going to help cultivate the grandioseness, the, the, the bigness of what I really want to contribute for my family, for, for, for what I need to do in my life and my time on earth. And you see what I mean? I know what I'm competing with. So let's just say my, let's say a critic comes and tells you like my friend, Hey, your videos are too long. I'll say, okay, well, you know, I know I've watched more than six minutes of pretty girls. So this video, this video took six minutes and 48 seconds and I'm pretty much done. So you're telling me that a person can't watch seven minutes to actually achieve what they need to in life. If, you know, if someone can't watch seven minutes to achieve, to actually achieve what their purpose is in life, they don't have seven minutes. Well, if you don't have seven minutes, you ain't going to do it. You're, you, you're not going to do it period. So I don't have to worry about, about that. Like you're not the type of person that's going to do it anyway. Make sense. But if you do see like, Oh, I get it. I get it. Like this person is being sincere saying, think big versus thinking small. And now I can work through the fabric and understand that critics are going to come, but you gotta, you gotta see through it. You gotta push through it. There's a resistance. I had a, the, one of my videos that you'll see here is resistance. There's resistance to life, art of war, uh, the war of art. Stephen Presser talks about it. Okay. So you gotta stay focused. You gotta surround yourself with good people. You gotta just know that these things are common for people to shoot small and tell you to think small and criticize you. So keep that in mind. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to see your comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Share the video with anyone that you think might help you. Go to evolution, uh, evolutiontraining.net and uh, download a free video to, for, to make your 2017 amazing. Okay. This is Jacob Adams. Have a happy new year. Think big. Remember, the same, it takes the same amount of energy to create a big business as it does a small one. The same amount of energy. Okay? Peace.